Yo, what up? Gabriel here with the first of our little Q&A videos. So, uh, I think the format I'm going to do moving forward is at the start of each Q&A video, I'll ask the question for, you know, next week's video, and then you can go ahead and just reply to the current video with your answers. So the question for next week is going to be, what is your favorite... Uh, let me rephrase that. What do you think the best starter card is? And also, what do you think the worst starter card is? Starter card meaning, you know, like Torch, Queen Zimpling, Root Seeds, Dregs, all that type of mess. So, um, but we uh, we started the first uh, one off with a text post, so let's see what the responses to the first one was. So, um, the topic was basically a simple one, just what is your favorite clan in Monster Train and why? And why don't I first uh, go ahead and just give mine? It it, it kind of uh, rotates, uh, but you know, favorite doesn't necessarily mean best, but it might often be closely related to that. So I think best. I don't know if it's Hellhorned. I I was thinking that for a while. I still might think it, but definitely my favorite is Hellhorned. Um, they just feel the least stressful to me um, when I play them. They're the only clan where I can safely say every little thing that a clan offers you, they seem to be strong in. You know, uh, rings 1 through 2, you get mainly uncommons, and I feel like their uncommons are strong. Uh, I think I feel like every rarity has a really strong pool of cards. Like, I think their uncommons and rares are very good. I think their pool of banner units is very good. I think they have probably the most diverse uh, set of infusions, or essences, rather. And also, um, I think that uh, they just have a... You can you get everything from them. They have good removal, they have good off offensive scaling, they have good defensive scaling. There's just nothing they seem to not offer. So it just always feels nice. Um, but let's go through uh, everybody that responded. So big thanks to everybody that responded so far. Uh, we got Yoso up first. Says, my favorite clan is probably Stygian. I got my first divinity clear with it, and the playstyle lines up with my favorite deck type in Magic the Gathering, which is casting damage and utility spells, trigger bonuses on creatures. So, you know, that is basically incant in, uh, in Monster Train. I also really like the design of the shark tank units. Definitely agree on all that. Um... I was, you know, I, pre DLC, specifically uh, Titan Shark. You know, I was, I was pretty big on uh, Titan, uh, Titan Sentry. You know, the Frost Shark pre DLC, and then for maybe a month, like two to three months following the DLC, I didn't really use him much, which is a big mistake because uh, specifically I was watching uh, Rising Dusk kind of see, and I saw how high he valued like a self-infused titan sentry on endless once i started doing that stygian became a lot more enjoyable for me you know even if i didn't hit on an incant deck i could at least always have that as an out it's always nice too when endless becomes a really good upgrade at merchant of steels because then it's like if you don't hit on frenzy stone you at least have something else that's almost equally as good probably another reason i like hellhorn as well just a lot of imps on endless is good so that's Yoso, uh, Stygian, pretty good choice, I gotta agree. Um, mean, uh, my favorite is Melting. I also love, I always love filling the whole train with the army of this clan's units. I gotta agree there too. Um, melting Remnant by far, other than maybe Wormkin. Wormkin when you're doing Endless Eggs, but definitely just as a clan, Melting is my most likely to have a multi-floor setup and uh it's often pretty fun uh, i feel like that is essentially how the game probably was intended to be played i mean they have three floors i i can't imagine that the devs necessarily are super thrilled that so many of the prime strategies are all just single floor setups and usually always at the top i mean if i were them i would probably be if I were making more content, I would try to find a way to to disrupt that, honestly. <laughs> but Melting, yeah, Melting can definitely get away with just filling the whole train with a bunch of stuff. 
Another reason it's another reason why I like endless eggs. Like actually being able to use every single floor, fill them all up with pip feels like that's actually how the game was meant to actually be played, right? Um, Jose says, as of right now, has to be Wormkin. The crystal mechanic uh, is great, and both champions are very capable of making runs interesting. Second has to be Melting Remnant. Little Fade uh, has so much uh, is so much fun to play with. Yeah, Little Fade. That's an interesting one. Um, very, very powerful champ. Kind of, it is the de facto strongest champ in the game when you ask most people. I'm actually currently of the mind right now that Spine Chief is a little bit better than Fade, but I know I'm definitely in the minority on that. I could never argue against a little Fade being considered the most powerful uh, champ, though. Also, yeah, I'll agree, pretty, pretty fun to play with. I don't really enjoy Firelight as much anymore, even though it's really powerful. I've just, I've done it so much that I... If I, can, if I can find any reason to go Icarus, that's what I do these days. Even though she's probably not necessarily the most consistent of the three. I think for as a fun perspective, Icarus is definitely there. Um, Light Phoenix says, My favorite clan is Umbra. Now that's that's spicy right there. I, I gotta give props to, to going against the grain there. Because they deserve more love too. Uh, from a design standpoint, I would have to say Melting Remnant. I think everything in the clan synergizes really well within it. Offers several different strategies that are viable and plays nicely with other clans as well. There's never going to be 100% design perfection, but MR is uh, the one that comes closest to mind. Uh, from a flavor standpoint, I have to say Awoken. You just don't see plants a lot in healthy media, and that's really awesome. Stygian is up there too for the lore. You know, it's funny, uh, Light Phoenix, on your last point, I'd actually... I would say from a flavor standpoint, I, I love Melting Remnant. To me... Um, I, I I do agree that you don't see like too many like plant-based races, but like to me, I've never ever seen like a candle-based or like wax-based species race, whatever you want to call it, in any universe. I'm sure somebody's done it before, but I've never seen it. So like melting to me is so cool. I also like the kind of weird mafia gangster uh, kind of subclass within it as well. Um. And yeah, I, I would agree. They definitely synergize pretty well within it. I think, for me, I love... I think that's another thing I love about Hellhorn is just how well they do synergize with everything as well. You know, it turns a lot of units that might not be good within a mono clan perspective. Like, I don't really think, like, the Stygian sweepers are necessarily good units on their own, but when you have Rage to add to them, for example then they become really good. Similarly, like Firelight Little Fade makes them very good. And then, uh, last but not least, we got LDAP. LDAP TV, any clan that you have uh, that you have a long win streak on and makes a series of analysis about. I think I think LDAP's uh, wanting to get a, a new, like, clan-specific um, guide out. And I'll be honest, it's on my it's on my list of things to do. It's That's not the first time I've seen this request lately. Um, you know, that's what I kind of... My bread and butter when I very first started kind of making videos was I would do specific clan combo guides. And that's kind of how I learned the game. I think a lot of people learn different ways. Some just do the random random. That's totally fine. For me, random random was too hard to learn the game on for me. I just... I can't focus... I, I kind of have to focus on one thing and get good at it. So I definitely might be... Not might. I, I will. I just don't know exactly when. But I'll be doing some clans... Uh, specific guides in the future for sure. I do kind of want to finish my uh, my all crown challenge first, and then I think from that I'll get inspiration. But I'm also always down for any requests and specific clans if people have them. Uh, in all seriousness, videos that help identify certain skills essential for winning, hidden knowledge, and trap cards, situation to look out for uh, are very helpful to me. Probably harder to make since most folks play from their guts and own their decision making based on feelings from experience versus pure analytics. And that's true. I mean, I, and honestly, until maybe the last two months, I, I was mainly playing from guts, even with where how long I had uh, put into the game there. I still do some things from gut, but I'm trying to be more analytical about, all, uh, about it. And definitely the more analytic you can be. Uh, I think is 
is you know helpful like really thinking out my decisions you know that that recent guide i made on the the pathing you know i probably wouldn't have two three months ago i wouldn't have been able to make a guide like that because i was ca i was caught in the trap of like you know just like oh yeah i need i just need some multi-strike to win this run i'll just hit every merchant of steel and not care about it right even if it's just a bad path right but yeah, this is a big thanks to everybody. Um, I don't know if I necessarily want to keep these videos too long, but uh, definitely just to reiterate the question I'm uh, asking for next week is what is your favorite, uh, not favorite, what do you think the best uh, starter card is and also what do you think the worst one is? So uh, much love and thanks for watching. As always, peace.